everyone, this is Ginny from Homestead Corner, and today I'm going to show you how to make a super simple, easy, two-ingredient um, congestion cough syrup. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this is super, super simple. Um, one of my friends told me about this honey onion cough syrup a couple of weeks ago. I was sick, uh, really congested, and this stuff, nothing was helping that I tried. And this really kicked it in the pants. I just love this. So it's super easy to do. Only two ingredients, an onion and some fresh raw honey. This is honey from Arby's. Um, if you can get local raw honey, that's going to be the best um, because it's got all the local pollen and goodness in it. So all we're going to do, this just takes seconds really, it's so simple. All we're going to do is cut up our onion and we're going to use eh, about half an onion. I just make it in small batches because you're going to take this couple times a day um, to help with congestion and it um, so you're going to use these small bat about enough to last through a sickness be having a having a cold being congested all that stuff so you can make it in bigger batches um, this will last in the fridge for a while but um, but I I like to make it up fresh it's this works so good when she told me about this. I did a little research on it, and it is lots of people make it. Got the skins on my fingers. So we're just gonna cut this up, and they don't need to be small, just chunky pieces. And we're gonna put these right in our nice, clean little mason jar. I'm just making, this is just a four ounce little jar, and that is enough, so if you're sick, it will get you through and it's easy to make up even when you're sick you can do this so I'm just breaking the onions apart and putting them in my little jar you want to leave some space in there some And so I've got, this is probably about a quarter onion. This onion's pretty small, so, but it's a half of a small onion. But so we just fill it up about like that, just to like the little neck. And then we're going to add some fresh raw honey and we're just going to cover it. Put this right over the top. <laughs> my silly husband so we're gonna let this it's gonna sink down in a little bit you can kind of move it around and help it go a little faster but it's it's really okay we'll put a little bit more in there you just want to make sure mm, that honey is so good you just want to make sure you've got your onions covered you don't want them sticking out the top that's all You can see there are some air bubbles. Just kind of let that all sink right down in there. Get that honey right down to the bottom. Thank you. 
And there you have it. Once this settles all down in there, all the air bubbles will come up and you just want to make sure everything is covered in this jar, all your onions. And now we're just going to let this sit. I'm going to put a cover on it. And we're going to let this sit on the counter for about four hours. All right, so this is super easy. Once you have it together, you let this sit for four to eight hours. You could leave it on the counter all day. That's fine. And then you can start using this a teaspoon or two at a time. You could put some in your um, tea. You could just take it by the teaspoon and then put it in the fridge after it's set out and um, for the few hours that you leave it out. Um, once you start using it, just put it in the fridge and take it a couple times a day. Uh, three or four times you can take it. It's not going to hurt you. It's always great in um, in tea. It does have a little bit of an onion flavor, but it's not like like raw onion flavor. And once you get down, I save it till the very last. You can use the onions. You can just eat those onions right up, and they are so good for you. And uh, Or you can use them to cook with or whatever you want to do with them. And this will last in the fridge for probably months, I would say, because the honey and the onions both are going to last a very long time. And uh, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.